was really pleased with the way our team played in the second half tonight. <laughs> hey, uh, nothing was easy for them offensively. I mean, it was pretty clear what kind of pressure you guys were trying to put on them. I mean, you saw last year what they can do when they get warm outside, and they just they didn't have any room. Bradley, I mean, they got up five threes in the first half and you know, made three of them, but, but really, with how dangerous they are, you had to be happy with the execution in that part of the game plan. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the biggest defensive keys for the game is just get out and guard that three-point line. And when you look statistically and know that they're shooting, you know, half their shots or more are coming from behind the arc. It's just such a dangerous weapon that they have. And uh, you've got a player like um, Van Riper Rose who um, has hit 10 in one ball game, you know, it's you, you just know that when they see that ball go through the net that it becomes very difficult to guard them. So um, we knew that was going to be a key, and I thought for the most part we did a pretty decent job of getting out there. And um, in the second half they had some open looks that just didn't go in the basket. But, um, we, you know, to give them 12 attempts is, is, um, is below what they're averaging and, and um, pretty decent effort on our part. Four and a half minutes to play in the first half, you're, you're down 35-31, and from that point on, you outscored them by 30 points. I mean, what what clicked? Because from that point, it just was a totally different game. Uh, you know, I think uh, one big key for us there at the end of the first half was uh, to be able to play Nicole Seacamp with foul trouble and her to impact the game the way she does with skip passes and ball movement and Kelly Stewart hit a huge three off a great pass from Nicole Seacamp and, and she just makes plays happen. We got a um, kind of a, um, you know, it was a couple easy baskets and, and kind of got us uh, shifting the momentum a little bit there. But uh, we, we talked at halftime about being able to really try to move the basketball a little bit more. We were occasionally trying to just kind of one dribble, pull up, uh, Jay or one pass jacket and um, when we did that we didn't have very good rebounders we didn't have good you know good things were not happening for happening for us and so in the second half I thought we really moved the basketball around and made their defense work and it created some more open opportunities and second chance uh, opportunities for us. Yeah 20 offensive rebounds that's a pretty <laughs> nice stat to have it shows you a little bit of the aggression and yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's always a key for us is that relentless pursuit of offensive rebounds. And I thought tonight that it was really keyed by um, Kelly Stewart and uh, Lisa Loeffler. I thought uh, just made remarkable effort for offensive rebounds and, and you know, kind of keyed it. Kate Liveringhouse got in there and had three as well. And, and um, you know, it was, it was really good team effort on the boards tonight. We've talked about Lisa and, and how she fits within the system and how much you trust her. And there's there's been nights where she hasn't had a field goal and maybe taken one or two shots in 30 minutes. But tonight, uh, but she's also a player that's proven capable of of taking advantage when the opportunities were there. And certainly tonight she did that. She did. I mean, 13 and eight, and and just you know, huge buckets like early in the game when we really kind of needed it. I think she had eight points in the first half where we kind of were really struggling to score in other areas and and. You know, she knows where she's going to get opportunities within our offense after three years of really being a regular in our lineup, and, and um, she is just ready to step up and take those opportunities. Pleased that you were able to balance out the minutes a little bit, get some girls some rest uh, going into Saturday? Yeah, I think it's the perfect time of year for us. I mean, we're dealing with what everybody else in the country is dealing with right now, just some kind of bumps and bruises and aches and pains and the, the – the yucky stuff that goes with a long season, and so it's really, um, it's it's a luxury every time that you can be able to kind of uh, spread those minutes out and be able to kind of um, limit the wear and tear that you're going to put on your players. You must have been a little disappointed after that last game. Was it just the eagerness to sort of wipe that clean and, and get on the court again? I think so. You know, I've been watching a lot about Coach K in the last few days, and he got his thousandth win and all that. And, and um, you know, my temptation was to just let's wipe that thing clear. And, you know, and I, I listened to him talk about the way that they had that 43-point loss early in his career. And, and one of his players said, let's just forget about that. And he said, no, no. And they put the score, that score on the scoreboard to start practice the next year. And, and you know, so I think there's kind of a balance. There's a delicate balance to, 
you know, do you just wipe it clear and move on from a bad loss, or do you take time to step back and learn from that and, and grow? And I think our kids are eager to, they understand that this time of year, the best teams are continuing to improve. And so, uh, you know, they wanted to look back at that where we were faltered at IUPUI and find ways to improve on that yucky loss. Or are you coming in Saturday? Obviously, they go well down there. And we asked the girls the question. They seem very ready to, to get to that game. But uh, what's going to have to uh, change? Obviously, the turnovers were a problem in that game for you. And, and, and Vicki McIntyre, frankly, is, is that matchup that's a nightmare for pretty much everybody with her size. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm going to have to go back tonight. I'll watch that game film you know, a couple times and try to start figuring out how we want to um, adjust our game plan and what we're going to do to better handle uh, McIntyre and um, I don't know. John Thayer told me just just get her in foul trouble and that solves everything. Well, that's easier said than easier said than done, right? So, um, so I, I you know I think that um, you know it's going to be a tough challenge. I mean they 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 definitely bring some pieces to the table. They have some great pieces around Vicky McIntyre and so it's going to be a tough challenge. I think our kids are aware uh, of what they bring now and uh, a little more familiar. So um, it'll be. Very interesting to see how we adjust and how we react to that. What year are you getting your thousands win? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we'll see. I'll have way too many gray hairs. I hope I'm still. Uh, I just want to try to make it to the next one. <laughs>